Hello Drupal fans. This video is a quick demonstration of a SQL injection attack and how an attacker can leverage a SQL injection vulnerability in order to take over a site without any interaction from an admin on the site. So I have a, a sample site set up here. This is an outdated version of Drupal core that is vulnerable to SA core 2014-005, uh, something that was patched in the fall of 2014. So you can see that the username is admin, email address is, is my email address, and I'll just run a quick database query to show you know, another user on the site. So we've got two different users, two different email addresses. UID1 is the admin greg.knapson at gmail account. Um, and then I've got a, a curl command here that will make a post to the site that it's specially crafted to exploit that old core vulnerability. Um, so I'll run that command. And now if I run my SQL select again, you can see that the email address has been changed uh, from greg.knadison to this pajamas at evil.example. Um, so the attacker would then use the core password reset function in order to send a password reset link to that email address that they control. And they would be able to log into the site, change the password on the account, create new accounts, do everything that a UID one account can do. Didn't require any uh, any action on the part of an admin on the site doesn't require you know any particular uh, site specific code in order to get it done other than the fact that the curl command has to be sent to that host name um, and so with just you know a, an attacker could hit a lot of different sites using this kind of a vulnerability so that's what makes a remote code execution or a SQL injection vulnerability so bad is that they can lead to um, at least some of them can lead to this kind of a you know broad takeover of a site without and, and this one is as anonymous um, so it can lead to a broad takeover of a lot of different sites